Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today what I'm going to do is work on a journal that I plan to use in January. We have some January creative prompts. There will be writing as well as adding embellishments and decorating your journal page. And I thought I would start with a relatively simple journal because I know as the days progress, I'm going to be adding things to it. So I was looking through my stash and I tend to use the composition notebook because I like to pull the pages out and use them. And I happen to have an empty cover. And I thought what I'd first do is take this cover and let's alter it. I'm going to go ahead and make it smaller. So I'm kind of looking at where the spine is. And I think what I want to do is cut this to be six inches by nine inches. So I'm going to measure this out and then I'm going to get out my cutting board and we're going to cut this. I'm just getting out my heavy duty cutter and I'm going to cut off each side. Okay, so I've made it smaller and I know that I'm going to put a decoration on the cover. So I just want to cover up some of these areas just a little bit. I've got some Bible pages, dictionary pages, book pages, whatever you want to use. And I think what I want to do is I don't want it to be perfectly lined up as far as which way the text is going. So I'm going to kind of work on this a little bit. I'm going to glue it down using Aline's Tacky Glue that I've put into a little uh, airtight container. It's got a little bit of water added to it so it will go on smoother. And I'll use a paintbrush to apply it. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave the spine black and then try to go in here and then just cover this with the paper. I want it to have a nice edge, so I'm going to fold this to the inside, so I just kind of cut off a corner. I'm going to repeat that down here on the bottom as well. I'm just going to fold this to the inside and glue it down. I'll end up covering the inside with more paper. I just want those edges to be nice and neat. So I've got the outside covered. And now I'm just going to use some scraps and pieces and then fill this inside in. Okay, so I've applied the pages to the cover and I need it to dry a little bit before I get to the next step. So I'll come back here in just a few minutes after it's dry. All right, so the cover is somewhat dry. It's okay if it's a little bit damp, but I didn't want that glue to still be you know, sopping wet. I think I want to put this image on the front, but I want to change the coloring of the book pages that are on here. So I'm going to grab a couple of things here. One of them is some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and I think I need to grab another color. I've got Craft, and I've got uh, Red Chilies. Just a couple of shades that I think would look good together. I want to cover this up I don't want to really change that black too much. I know it's got a little bit of stuff on there, but I think I can fix that later. So I'm just going to lay a piece of paper on here to help mask that right here. And we're going to spray this. I'm going to spray a little bit of the craft, kind of hold it in place here. And then I've got a little bit of this chili pep, uh, red chilies. All right. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to dry this and then we'll flip it over and work on the other side. If it's taken a really long time to dry and the color's good, I'm just going to go in here with the paper towel and kind of mop up anywhere that there's some puddles. For the inside, I'm not really concerned about masking anything up, so I'm just going to go ahead and just spritz the whole thing. And I'll dry this and I'll be back. All right, so I've got it dry and I grabbed my black soot distress ink. And what I'm going to do is just kind of rub it over that spine, which will kind of bring back out the black. There were some white areas on here. I'm going to go ahead and do the edge. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around the edge with the black. 
Well, I think that's looking pretty good. I've got a calico collage image from the Radiant Red Creative Rainbow Box. And so I think I just want to glue that right on the cover. I don't want it to be a pocket, so I'm just going to glue it straight down. I've got a little saying here. These are some sayings that I offer in my shop. And it says, always dream big. And I think... I think it would look good right here on the cover, so I'm just going to add that. On the inside, I want to add some pockets. So I have a, another image from the Radiant Red, and I think what I'm going to do is cut this in a strip and then make pockets to go on the inside. So I'm going to cut it about oh, three, three and a half inches. That'll give me a nice deep pocket that I can put things in. And I'm just going to cut it in half, so I'm folding it, and then I'll just cut it on that crease. I think that'll look good. I'm going to go around the edge with some Distress Ink. I'm going to use the black soot again. And I'm just going to glue these down on the inside here. So there's the cover so far. I think it's looking really good. So the pages that I want to use in this journal, I want them to be relatively simple. Again, because I know that each day we have a prompt and I may have to paint the page or add a pocket to it. So I didn't want to embellish the whole journal and then spend time trying to figure out how to work around it in order to do the prompts. So I've just grabbed a few pages. So I've got a couple of Bible pages here. I've got some just book pages. I've got coloring book pages. This is a map. This was from the same book. It's like the legend or something. A couple of notebook papers. And then I chose three of the Radiant Red Calico Collage images that I thought were pretty. I thought this would be good to start in the front. So I'm going to grab one of those, and I'm just going to alternate until I have all the pages in here. So I've got about 11, 12 pages. If I, I didn't really count these as a page, but I think I have enough that for 30 days I'll be able to write prompts in here. I'll be able to add things. I'll be able to create more writing space if I need to. This is kind of just flipping through just so you can see a little bit of what it looks like. And I think what I want to do, just in case I want to have the page flat while I'm working, I'm going to do this where it's temporarily bound in this journal. So let me grab, I think I'm going to grab some ribbon and then just tie this into the journal. Then that way, if I want, I can slip the pages out, work on them, and then slip them back in. So I'll be right back. So I've got, oh, about a quarter of an inch wide ribbon, and I'm going to lay it in here, bring it to the outside, and I'm just going to tie it off. That way I'll be able to make adjustments as necessary if I want to add more pages, if I need to remove pages in order to decorate them. I'll be able to do that throughout the month of January. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing just quick idea of making a quick simple journal a junk journal out of a few things so there it is with the tie and then we open it up and we've got our pages here that I'll be able to write on I'll be able to collage add pockets whatever the prompt may be and I've got a little bit of color with the radiant red kit in here so it's not just completely plain and by the end of the month, it'll be nice and full and decorated. Do check the description box to the prompts that will be coming up in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Of course, check the, for the products that I use, the Tattered Angels as well as the Radiant Red. And if you haven't followed me here on YouTube, please do so. Subscribe. I do go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. Then I work on junk journals. I either share ideas or we make a complete junk journal. Depends on the day. 
And then on Thursdays, I do mixed media. And on those days, we'll learn how to use different types of mediums together to make elements and pages for our junk journals. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below if you have any comments or questions. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.